and so the debate went very well for Tulsi. Uh, in fact, a lot of people said that moment won the debate for her because people are sick and tired of these endless fucking... We've been in Afghanistan for 19 years. One more year, that war gets a gold watch. And even, so here's the Inquisitor. Tulsi Gabbard won the first 2020 Democratic debate, says Paul. Isn't that awesome? I didn't think that could happen in America. I thought Rachel Maddow would fucking screw her somehow. But uh, she broke through. Tulsi Gabbard broke through. And uh, here's Gabbard is the most searched on Google after Democratic debate. So here's the most searched Democratic candidates before that debate. It was Elizabeth Warren, Cory Booker, Beto, and Tulsi, right? So, well, Tulsi only shows up in Hawaii, right? (laughs) But it's Elizabeth Warren mostly, right? And so after that... (laughs) After that debate... The most searched Democratic candidate was Tulsi Gabbard, Cory Booker was second, and Elizabeth Warren is in Oklahoma. <laughs> Isn't that something? That's her home state. Yes. Is that her home state, is it? Oh, I didn't know that. She said it in the debate. She goes, I'm originally from Oklahoma. She became all Southern all of a sudden. <laughs> kind of like George Bush, who grew up, went to Yale, and then suddenly moved to Texas. And... <laughs> That's why everyone in Oklahoma's like, who the fuck is this chick? She's not from here. Oh, I didn't know she's from Oklahoma. Well, that's probably, well, she's Native American, so that's probably why. (laughs) She did so well. Tulsi Gabbard did so well and impressed people so much that even Meghan McCain said nice things about her. (laughs) Megan McCain said, Tulsi and I literally couldn't disagree on more, and she fundraised off my name for calling her out on her relationship with Assad. But so far, she's coming across the most composed and authentic. Hashtag Democratic debate. That's kind of unfucking believable ladies and gentlemen, that that's how bad she was doing. Um, and we all know that the real reason Megan McCain was so complimentary is because Tulsi was the only candidate who didn't speak uh, Spanish. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> or as Megan calls it, speak Mexican. <laughs> and it's not like Megan McCain has ever cashed in on somebody's name. You know what I mean? It's not like... It's not like she got a TV job because she had like a, a famous dad or something like that, you know what I mean? That's never happened. Fun, fun, raise, fun raise off my name. That's code for she schooled me so hard at national TV that people wanted to give her money. <laughs> okay, uh, so here we go. So, but guess what? She, she took that tweet down. So Megan McCain took that tweet down, but we got a screenshot of it and we sent it to Tulsi and then Tulsi tweeted it out. She goes, Megan's displayed a moment of courage to tweet this out before deleting it. I mean, getting a compliment from Megan McCain would want me to take a Chernobyl style shower. But Tulsi took it and uh, she goes, Tulsi, this is her sister tweeting that. She says, Tulsi lived a lifetime of courage and she won't cave to establishment pressure. So fantastic. And then, so after that, Megan fucking put it back up. She put it back up and she goes, I tweeted and I stand by what I said. <laughs> uh, I don't think you know how the internet works. Because this guy, you originally tweeted it at 9.31, and then you deleted it and tweeted it again at 11.19. We can see the timestamps. We're not stupid. I stand by both of them. (laughs) 
I'm Megan McCain, and here's my opinions on the debate. P.S. When my dad was on the debate stage in 2008, he bragged about not knowing how to use a computer. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, I have one more joke for this. Um, uh, if, in fairness, Megan McCain may have deleted the tweet because it was her only talking point for the show the next day. And uh, some, she might have deleted that tweet after someone showed a video of her dad singing Bomb, 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 Iran. Hey, we just added St. Louis and Honolulu to our live tour schedule. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our live shows. We might be coming to your town. Go check right now at jimmydorecomedy.com. And if you like the show and want to support it, become a premium member. You can become a patron or through PayPal or go right to jimmydorecomedy.com and become a premium member. That's the best way. We'll see you at a live show.